we're a client-focused firm because clients are everything to us. In our background of creating specific delivery models for specific clients, not doing it our way, but doing it the way the client wants it done, is how we're going to maintain those long-term relationships with those clients. Ann Arbor is uh, one of our key clients, and a lot of the work that we do is infrastructure improvements, but not only do we just improve water main, storm sewer, road surface, but we actually act as an in-house engineer for the city. Main Street is a vibrant street in downtown. It's bustling with pedestrians and patrons. On the Main Street project, the key goals were to replace the road and replace the aging 100-year-old water main. Understanding the city of Ann Arbor, the big goal for them was to make sure we maintain that vibrancy, to make sure the residents, the businesses, and the restaurants, all the stakeholders on Main Street are taken care of. Making sure that we're ahead of schedule or right on schedule, that was really, really important. So then we didn't disrupt a lot of the, uh, the things they had going on here, including you know art fair and outdoor dining and closures and stuff like that. Way trim from that beginning step was at every one of our Main Street meetings, they were offering, you know, to meet people downtown, do walk-arounds, what's the best approach to this, and just clearly communicating all the work and what it entailed and being honest about it. Um, I just feel like it was always honest and, you know, everybody was doing their best. Uh, we did weekly progress meetings, um, which really helped establish that basis of um, what's going on weekly and know what to expect coming up so we can uh, let, you know, let the city staff know what's going on and um, those not completely plugged in on the project. So if you work with a client long enough and you understand how they like things done and you understand how the component of the project you're working on fits within their whole system, uh, the way that you can be innovative to solve problems along the way increases Wade Trim's value to that client. City of Ann Arbor and the DDA have a variety of initiatives that provide for a greener, safer, or more vibrant downtown. Through the variety of work that we do with them, we've really begun to understand their initiatives and their goals, um, and what they're trying to achieve through these projects. On projects like First and Ashley, we really are able to take a look at all of the outstanding initiatives and goals and take a more holistic approach on the project as a whole. We worked with Smith Group um, on this two-way pair project, First Street and Ashley Street. It was primarily a bikeway project, um, but it also took two one-way roads and converted them into two two-way roads. Um, and because of that, as you can imagine, it's an entire reconstruct of the road. So we also improved the water main and the stormwater infrastructure, some of the signal work in the area. Um, but it was primarily an overall streetscape bikeway project. The City of Ann Arbor's Green Streets policy is meant to alleviate flooding within the surrounding area. So the way that we do that is we infiltrate more of the stormwater into the soil below the road. So we collect the stormwater on the road, it goes into our stormwater infiltration pipe, which is perforated, and the water then goes into the soil below. Um, so that allows for less of the stormwater to go into the overall system throughout the city. That's a pretty unique way to deal with the stormwater in an urban area. We're truly focused on maximizing the value of, of our clients' infrastructure dollar. Then we need to wear that on our sleeves. And we need to make sure that even when the client's not in the room, that we're watching out for them and how we're developing our designs or delivering our services to make sure that we're providing the highest value we can. 